Green Tunic Gaming. Yeah. Welcome to Green Tunic Gaming. We're doing uh, stasis this time around. Um, Sean looks like he has something to say. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just I'm just really into what's going on here right now. Yeah. Um, I was also not gonna lie, reading those words uh, pretty intently. <laughs> I was like, oh fuck, we're starting. I can't do like the two things at once, you know. Fair enough. Uh, this is gonna be our first point and click game. Wow. Yeah. Um, Hopefully the first of many. Yeah. I, you know, I've <laughs> As never he rolls his eyes. I'm never been the biggest. <laughs> never been the biggest fan of them, but. Uh, this one ended up being really good, and yeah. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. That means I played through it already because I don't want to waste everyone's, you know, like, I don't want to waste three fucking episodes trying to figure out a puzzle. Oh, uh, yeah. Sean has seen nothing. I have no idea what the fuck this is. Nothing of this. I'm so. like, is this like a force power, or is like, what is this game <laughs> <about>? Force stasis. <laughs> I'm like, is, what is this about? Oh, man. So I'm actually pretty excited to share this game with you and, and Sean both. I l actually just beat it, like... Uh, what time? Like eight hours ago, maybe. Nice. Not that long ago. Nice. So, uh, as as a, a little side note here, uh, a lot of the gameplay time takes place by reading uh, several PDAs. Um, so with that in mind, we're not going to go through and read every single PDA. It would just take too long, and it about doubles the gameplay time because it's not a very long game. Mm, mm. We are, however, going to stop for just a few seconds on each PDA, so that if you guys want to pause it and read it, you guys can go right ahead and do that, but we're going to try and skim through it, and I want to give Sean, to the best of my ability, a uh, synopsis of what each one said. Sounds good. Uh, that way we can keep the gameplay flowing and going, and we're not spending, you know, five hours as opposed to two and a half with this playthrough. Also, who wants to read, man? Seriously! Come on, wake up, sheeple. Or read God. <laughs> Who needs hooked on phonics, right. man? Do you remember that shit? Yeah, I do remember that shit. <laughs> Dating ourselves a little bit here. Yeah. Hooked on phonics. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, we need to invent a drug called phonics. <laughs> just so people are like, yeah, man. I'm fucking hooked on that shit. <laughs> I always thought my, my drug name was going to be Hagen Days. After mispronouncing Hagen Dazs for the longest time. Yeah. <laughs> but phonics. I, I'm on board. I like how Hagen Dazs actually doesn't mean anything. Like, it's not, like, a person's name or anything. They're just like, this sounds foreign. Let's, let's go for it. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, just fucking throw an umlaut in there. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Hawkeye doesn't mean shit. It's, like, no one's name or anything. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, it's just made up. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's really stupid. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this looks really nice. Is this, like, an indie game? I... Actually, yeah. Um, so... The is a very. It seemed like an indie game mostly because I never heard of Brotherhood. <laughs> it's not so much. It, I guess it is an indie game technically here. Uh, the developers behind are actually fairly well known. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris Bischoff, the lead programmer and designer, whatnot, worked on the Bioshock series. Oh. Um, and this is his first game from from the studio that he founded. Got it. Okay. Um, so yeah, it, it's all going to be like this. It's all isometric. Uh, uh, Top down side ah, sci-fi horror it's like adventure shadow game. run kind of uh, kind of a little bit but much slower. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm pretty excited for this shit. Man. It, it's gonna be good. Um, the art direction in it is spot on, and the sound effects are really good. Nice. You're gonna want to pay a lot of attention to his suit's AI because it gives you a really good idea of where he's at mentally mm -hmm. and kind of gives you a hint as to what he's seen and what's going on in the environment. Okay. Um, so yeah, we came out of our stasis tube and by God, do we need some medical attention. Nah, man, he looks great. <laughs> Additionally, Mm -hmm. And this I didn't really realize until after I beat the game. Yeah. Um, he has a quantum storage device, which is this guy here. Yes. And that's going to store all of our items. And and when he has it, you can see him. He pulls out the left hand and he looks at it. Oh, yeah. It's a quantum storage device. Oh, so you it can is put a, things in there. Exactly. <laughs> it's a, essentially a miniature pocket dimension. It does not exist in our world. And that's going to make some future things make too much sense. Oh, God. All right. Well... <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm excited. Okay. This isn't my ship. So he, yeah, that's us. Yes, this is us right here. We look God. like a fucking alien guy, but it's a little whatever. Yeah, you kind of um, look like a. 
like 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 a model that art students use to, <laughs> to draw that's like featureless, you know, like yeah, uh, well, so some will get poses down. There's a couple of things here that are that are to be of note. You can look at pretty much anything in the environment, uh-huh. and it'll give you a detailed description of it down at the bottom. Oh yeah, look at that. Um, there are three symbols that really come up when you're uh, mousing over things. Mm-hmm. There's the eye. Ah. With a little cloud around it, and that means that you're really just kind of looking at it. Okay. Um, there's a hand with a really weird, like, grabby animation. Yeah. And that means that you can interact with the item specially. Like, you can Got do certain it. things with it. And this can be another eye with, like, three lines going off it, and that means you can peer into other rooms. Huh. It comes up, like, twice. All right. And the fourth and final one, because apparently there's four, and I forgot to mention it, that little arrow means we can go to a new area. Oh, neat. Yeah. So moving right along here. Well, I'm excited for some sick click in action. Dude, so many clicks. It's one are, of those times where Are there click time events? There are not click time events. Oh, that's a shame. I was, I was kind of looking forward to those. Please seek medical attention. Um, yeah, I mean, my mouse is going to be fairly loud and prominent <laughs> during this time. I like the shadows and lighting that they use in this. Right? Very it's nice. Pretty direction. good. Don't worry, we're gonna get the ability to run later. <laughs> like I, I, later on to to run, you you double click and it's there's a look at the hand item. Oh yeah, that is. Like, I told you, it's kind of like that's pretty sensual. It's it's really you weird. know, it looks like he's like debating like should I should I caress her hair while she looks away or <laughs> or not like no. So so this is like the first okay. thing. So you you can come through here. So pretty much what all these are saying right now is that uh, these are just pods. Mm-hmm. Um, that had been collected by the ship. It, the ship is called the Groom Lake, by the way. Mm-hmm. I don't know when it was mentioned, but I'm I'm just going to mention it now because it makes explain some things are even easier. Okay. Um. So all those people uh, were taken from luxury liners, person transports from random places. They were right. attacked, and their stasis pods were taken onto the ship. Okay. Um, I'm going to scroll through this a little bit here at a time, so everybody has a chance to read it. This is the bottom. Mm-hmm. Great. Okay. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, Got it. Good. It, this is just saying that their their cloning facility is, is it, it costs too much. There's too much storage. It's not. There's just not enough room on the ship. Got it. Um, too. Yeah. There's just thing. Things are not going right on the ship right now. It's a little little fucky. Um. Sounds sounds like uh, yeah. Sounds fucky. <laughs> Dude, this guy is just like leisurely, like making his way over. Uh, well, he's fucking hurt. You gotta remember, he when we left that stasis tube, he had broken ribs. That's true. And he broke an arm. He's That's not true. doing so hot. He's in a little bit of pain. Blood stains. Oh, blood yeah, stains there. Blood. Oh. That's a. Uh... Oh man. Yeah, I will say mm-hmm. that in the very beginning here, there's a puzzle. And it was probably the puzzle I found to be the hardest puzzle in the fucking game. Really? It, it's right in the beginning, and it takes absolutely no time at all to do. It just took me forever to think of it. Okay. Um, okay, there we go. Got to turn that guy on first. So what we need right now is we need a Dockmate scanner. Okay. Which is that one, yeah. Got it. And that's going to tell us exactly what's wrong, give us some, you know... Some general fix fixer ups, mm-hmm. um, like put a really cold stethoscope on you, touch yeah. you very sensually for a little Do too I long. Know. What kind of doctors have you been seeing? Okay, that's right. You can't have those two on at the same time. Okay, so I need to turn on. What did I just turn on? What is it? Life support. I turn on life support. Yep. Yeah, we need we need a dog made scanner. Dog made scanner active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then I should just. Oh yeah, we're just gonna walk in the dog made scanner. <laughs> Cause like this should be on. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I are are you? I feel like it might be. I mean, there's only like. Yesterday, man. To be fair, uh, <laughs> no, we're good. Um, I played the first like half hour of this two weeks ago. Okay. Came back like late last night and earlier this morning. Just yeah. Plowed through it. Nice. Uh, once I realized it wasn't that long, and I was just like, oh, sweet, I'm just gonna fucking do this. 
and it's really interesting. Because, um, like I was telling Sean before we even started all this, it's not a, it's not a jump scare game. It's not a very horrifying game. It's just the stuff that happens is deeply disturbing. Yeah, and the things that it implies are just very unsettling. So it goes for almost a different kind of horror. Like We're not, you're not just like, oh, God, but it's like you're kind of horrified at the events and the actions that these people have taken. Yeah. Um, I, I thought it was really well done. No, that's neat. I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, because I remember, I think it was during, we talked about it during Soma. Yeah. Where you're like, jump scares don't scare me that much, but like these these weird things where you double into these people's heads. <laughs> yeah. That's what gets to you. Seriously. And that, I think, is going to make this a pretty good game for you. Nice. So you can combine things oh, uh, cool. like like in, in, in most uh, point and click adventures. You get your crafting bench. Uh, dude, the quantum sword device is in the back of my crafting bench. <laughs> um, so we're going to stab the shit out of ourselves with this needle and uh, <sighs> gain the ability to run. Nice. But Flashback. Huh. Sandy said that if you have bad dreams and you can't wake up that, you'll be stuck in them. Forever. I always hate video well, game kids. <laughs> I don't know what it <laughs> is. <laughs> the worst. Um, one thing I will say is that for the, entire the, uh, but if you the do, voice acting in the game squeeze Teddy. Mm. Has its highs and lows. Yeah, like a lot of the time, it's it's delivery is very flat and just like matter of fact, and it's 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 serviceable. Yeah, this is job. There At other go. times, sweet dreams, my girl. It's no. really fucking Wait, good. All like, right. And it's just, it, it, but it's that differential there that yeah. kind of like bothers me. Sleep. Huh. Um, if I, I wanted to see either consistently bad or consistently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. Nobody. <laughs> I swear to God, if you're going to give me an ounce of being bad, right? you better be bad the entire exactly. time. Exactly. So I, I can laugh. I like my douchebags consistent, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh, God. Creepy song. Mmm. Yeah. Shit that always, like, either creeps me out or makes me sad is, like, music box stuff. I don't know why, whenever I hear music box, I'm just like, this is unsettling. And, like, ever getting a music box as a gift, I'm like, I just imagine, like, you're going to die and this music box is going to be haunted. And, like, whenever your ghost shows up, the song's going to play, like, da 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 It's like, Maybe, maybe that's just me. I'm so music box sound, though. Kind of unborn. I kind of want to make music box now. No, music boxes are cool. They're just fucking creepy. They're also one of those things I imagine are like absurdly expensive for some reason. They are. You know? Like an accordion. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, an accordion. You look at it for like thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> cool shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, an accordion, there's so much shit that goes into it. Right. And like all the inner workings of it are insane. And the only reason I eat like a music box is super expensive is for two reasons. Because that one. shit's gonna oh, gain a spirit and haunt you. <laughs> no, that actually drops the price. Oh, does it? Yeah. Uh, but yeah. the first reason is that it essentially plays out like, like, like a piano. Like, uh, uh, they're almost each like a tuning fork. Have you ever looked at the inside of a music box? No. So there's, there's about five to six different flat pieces of metal depending on how complicated the song is. And those ones are all very, they're, they're thinner or thicker, depending on the tone you need. I see. And then you have this iron <laughs> roller on the inside, and there are bumps along it right. that flick what each child? metal bar in turn. It's so it's actually a little complicated in how it here. functions, yeah. and is very precise, and that's why it's so expensive, because it's all these little intricacies. Almost like the little intricacies we're going to see on the worst fucking puzzle in this game on the next episode of Green Tune Game. Oh shit, alright, well, stick around for that. Go to sleep, my baby girl, in your warm bed, soon you will rise again, so drift away, sleepy head. Dream of us and you will see Monsters can't harm you or me Close your eyes again And worry no more Stars and the moons They will pass us by soon A new will surely be upon you and me so go to sleep my baby girl 
in your warm bed soon you will rise again so drift away sleepy head